Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at BandLab. BandLab is a free online digital audio workstation that works through a web browser rather than a separate application. It allows for collaboration between musicians in different locations who can all access the same cloud-based music project. In this video we'll go over some of the features and how to use BandLab. BandLab is a completely web-based digital audio workstation, so there's nothing needed to install on our computer. This program is very basic and allows for the creation of audio tracks, synthesizers, and drum machines with simple mixing tools. One of BandLab's interesting features is the cross-platform support. Not only does BandLab work on both Mac and Windows, it also has apps available for both iOS and Android, making it usable on phones and tablets for on-the-go and portable music production. In some cases, you can even connect audio interfaces and MIDI controllers to tablets such as the iPad using the Apple USB to Lightning adapters. For some disadvantages, BandLab's oversimplified interface can make complex editing a lot more limited and difficult than other digital audio workstations. Hardware integration is a lot more difficult since we're not working directly with an audio interface such as an ASIO interface, and there will be more audio latency than when working with an interface with a standalone DAW. Finally, BandLab has a lot of built-in effects, but if you like your own third-party plugins, there is no support for VST, AU, or AAX plugins that other digital audio workstations can do. BandLab allows for audio recording from an audio interface connected to our computer. It can use any microphone input and output that's available to our operating system, such as Windows, that can be accessed by the web browser. The layout of BandLab is very simple. Along the top, we have the menu on the left with settings, saving, and load controls. There's the undo and redo buttons. We have a metronome control, project tempo, and time signature panel. Next to it is the project key selector for when we're composing with MIDI. There's a simple project transport in the middle with play, stop, recording, loop, and project time indicators. To the right of the transport, we can adjust the project master volume, and the far right has the options to publish the project to our BandLab account, save the project, and invite other BandLab users to collaborate on the project. Our tracks are in the middle of the window with the timeline along the top and the track listing on the left. We have an add track button that allows us to select between audio tracks, virtual instruments, drum machine, sampler, guitar, and bass tracks. When adding an audio track, we're asked to allow the web browser to access our microphone, which we need to accept, then we can select from the available Windows audio inputs. From there, we can just record audio on the track with the record button, but I always like to enable the metronome first by clicking the metronome button, and I like to disable the loop indicator so the track only records once. With the audio track, we have simple controls for mute, solo, volume control, and panning along the left-hand side. Next, let's look at the Virtual Instruments track. For Virtual Instruments, we're limited to the included instruments with BandLab. The categories for instruments are 808s, drum kits, drum pads, electric basses, guitars, keyboards, leads, organs, pads, percussion, strings, synth basses, synths, voices, and winds, so we get quite the variety of different instruments.
When we load an instrument, we get a piano view along the bottom. We also get an option in the bottom left to select a MIDI device that's connected to the computer to use it as a MIDI input device. We can right click on the track in the center, create a region, and then create a MIDI clip that we can then click on to bring up the piano roll view in the bottom, then use the draw tool on the left to be able to draw in all the notes. After that, we have a drum machine that uses samples from acoustic or synthesized drum kits. The drum machine is pattern based and we can use a pattern labeled A through H, then add the patterns to the project timeline. Guitar and bass tracks are used for direct recording of instruments through the audio interface. These are basically audio tracks that we can then add guitar amp simulation effects on to create a simulated amp sound completely within the computer. We get amps for Classic Brit, Cali Cab, Classic American, and Vintage Tweed. The amp controls include Drive, Bass, Mid, Treble, Presence, and Volume. After that, we have a cabinet simulator to go with the amp, and that includes the Twin Cab, 2x12 UKC, 1x12 T Deluxe, 1x12 J Alnico, 2x12 Super Clean, Classic Brit, Bassman 30, 8x10 American, Cali Cab, and the Tweed Cab. There's also the Multi Amp Pro and Multi Cab Pro effects that add even more amp and cabinet simulation with microphone position simulation. For general mixing tools, BandLab has volume and panning for each track, but no dedicated mixer view with level meters for each track. We also get numerous effects including delays, distortion, dynamics for compression, gating and limiting, modulation for filter, Ottawa, chorus, phasers and tremolo, reverb, tone for equalizers, and utility controls for feedback killer, gain, and stereo width. With a project complete, we can go to the menu indicator in the top left and under the save menu, we can select to download the entire project. We'll get some basic download options such as WAV with no compression, MP3, and M4A with variable levels of compression. Thanks for checking out this video on BandLab, the free online digital audio workstation. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is released. You can also check the video description for links to social media accounts to stay up to date on all our new content.